Live from Shadowmere Studios, it's Talkie Box, served fresh daily. Ooh. Or weekly. Yeah, weekly. It's more weekly. It's daily if we're talking about Tuesdays and only Tuesdays. Yes. Well, our attitudes and our topics are so fresh that I feel like they could watch them daily. They could right. just watch our weekly episode yeah. every day. And we've got a bunch. And it would just be served up fresh for them. This is our 43rd first episode. Hmm. Um, of which, what, like... 25 or video, I think. Sure. So, is it 43? Yeah, it's 40? number 43. Oh, I thought Dang. it was 42. Mm. I don't think so. <coughs> I'll check it out later. It's we'll really not it important out. at the moment. No, nope, I feel like not. 43 is right. Yeah. But it's our first episode ever. Yeah. yeah. The very first 43rd <laughs> first somebody episode. There. So I'm Dave, and with me is uh, Jason. Jason's back from being sick. Woo! Still. Two, Two weeks in a row. Yeah. Two weeks in a row. Not <laughs> sick. Oh, dang. <laughs> We're and pretty then, sure he's not going to die at this point. And then Justin. Hey. And then we got Tech back. Yay, tech. the Asian. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to meet you, Tech. Oh, nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah. Give you a handshake on the, you know. Yeah, yeah. On, on the TV yeah. so they know. Like, there you go. Fake that first meeting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we definitely we're best meet. friends now. Oh. We definitely didn't meet out on the porch while y'all were mud masking each other. Yeah, yeah. So we we talked a couple weeks ago, you you know, when, when Tech was here, we talked about how we were planning to have one big makeover day. And we weren't able to do that because we couldn't get all the stuff we needed. Yep. Uh, had to get some stuff online. So you may you may notice that I am clean shorn. So weird. It feels weird. Baby face. And babe. it looks even weirder. I I wear a beard for a reason. I don't. I honestly don't like the way my face looks clean shaven. Like I just feel that the beard really just fills it out nicely. And um, so I shaved. There's a video. Of, there, there's going to be a video of of the of us doing the mask and there's also a video of me shaving for the first time in four years and yeah that was that was an interesting feeling like, hashtag yeah. baby face dave yeah. baby, <laughs> face baby face silver mane yeah. <coughs> it's so silky smooth Ooh, i like that baby face silver mane that's yeah. a that's a pirate name that's a that's a that's a villain name that's a super villain baby face silver mane <laughs> Like, I think it's what happens when two villains get together and yeah, have it's a, a baby. gangster pirate. <laughs> yeah, I, ju I, I just changed the hashtag. Yeah. It is now hashtag babyface it's a, it, silvermane. It's right, a pirate cool. with like a cigar and a fedora. Yeah. Yeah. Still got that peg leg though, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Um <laughs> So yeah, we did that we made that video a little while ago. I don't I don't I honestly don't know if that's gonna be up first or or if this this show's gonna be up first, so um But then the last Watch both of them. Watch them both. Mm -hmm. It's You're really up regardless. To yeah. S and M Brian. Entertaining is happening. So. He's in control of all of that, right? Yeah, S and M Brian takes care of uh, most of that issue. I, I upload it and then he makes it he puts it on the internet with he, the, he makes the, it the makes it magic. Happen. Watchable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, and man. we thank him. Yeah, absolutely. Thank so him. I guess uh, whichever one comes up first, you can just assume that he found that to be the least terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It took the least amount of effort to fix. <laughs> yeah. But done. Done. Yeah. Well, I didn't cut the video too much, so there's definitely some editing work to be done. That that's on me. I I actually do the editing of it, the initial editing. And then he's the one together, and then he like polishes it. Kind so of so watch the extra video. There's an extra video this week that is specifically Dave going babyface, mm -hmm. and then Tech and Dave uh, going blackface. <laughs> And Losing it, a lot of hair. And it's apparently yeah. not racist when they did it. No, it was not intended to be, at least. Yeah. Like, um, I'm, I'm so, yeah. missing my eyebrows right now. I can feel like a bald spot. Yeah. Yep. Do you is. feel like do you yeah. feel like really yeah. smooth though? Oh, it feels great. Right. You look really smooth. But it hurts so bad because of the hairs. Yeah. I don't know I why don't know. Yours, yours didn't hurt that bad, but oh. Gosh. I also went a lot faster with mine. Oh, true. Like I was like, up, oh, get it done, get it done. Yeah. Just destroy all the entertainment value. Sorry. <laughs> so what is the next step? What are, you guys did the beauty mask. You did the we, charcoal. We did the haircut first. Okay. All right. So we now did. bikini wax. <laughs> oh, Brazilian no. wax is coming up. Yeah. <laughs> Forty-year-old virgin. Are we gonna do it? Because uh, well, I know we have the we have the event coming up next year, the shaven way. So yeah, it'd probably be a good idea. Yeah, I'm to trying to get rid of as much of Dave's body hair now, <laughs> so that I have less steep competition later. Oh uh, yeah, I don't want to do that. What I don't know, man. Should we we should get like mani pedis or something. Mani pedis. At an Asian place. Oh, heck yeah. So that Where else it's... would you go? All right, well, well I think we're all down for that. <laughs> <laughs> I've never gotten a Manny Petty. Or a Manny or a Petty. Yeah, Independently or, or together. Yeah. Do you, sp do you speak any languages from the Philippines? Tagalog. All right, all right. Yeah. Do, you, do you know any shops 
where that language would be a little more prevalent. That maybe uh, we could get some juicy gossip about the three of us, and you could translate for us later. I'm pretty sure they're all like Koreans, right? A lot, a lot of the ones I think are in the, in the area that we live in, at least, uh, or or the area we live near, are mostly Korean or maybe Vietnamese. I'm oh, gonna yeah. be honest, I've never gotten a mani pedi, so I haven't either. But I know like the area where you can go to do that. Yeah, I just, and it's uh, mainly Korean and Vietnamese. I just it sounds like we have an experience every, brewing here. I figure every nation just sort of had its own kind of like group yeah. for that Manny Petty, like Maybe. a Jamaican Manny Petty, like Do you think it's like an American Manny Petty though? I or do I we just somewhere. rely on other cultures to do this kind of thing. I mean, you know, Americans are pretty privileged in that regard. We rely on other cultures to do That's true. Everything. I mean, everything. When, when you go out to eat, like when you're trying to make plans, it's always like, Oh, what would you like to eat? And it's never like uh steaks or whatever. It's always like you want Mexican? You want Italian? You want Chinese? You want Japanese? Like Korean. It's always like, let's get some other cultures food. <coughs> you want to get some American food? No. I eat, I eat food that we have <laughs> cobbled together from other cultures. And, right. and now it's getting swank because you've got like a poke and like pho. And I don't even know what poke is. Like a oh, poke you know bowl. What pho is though. Yeah, pho, pho. I know. We I had that last night. Delicious. Um, or mm. I wasn't really digging it, but it might have been the soup. Like I didn't. I didn't get pho. I, I I shared with other people, and I wasn't really digging the soup it was in. Like, I've always had a weird thing with the, the rice noodles because they look kind of snotty. Oh. Um, they do. I don't they know if do. you've ever seen them. They're, like, clear and weird. But the but, place was pretty cool. Like, your rice was uh, shaped in a little heart. Yeah, I got, like, this grilled chicken and rice. It wasn't even grilled. I don't even know how that rice, that chicken was prepared. But the, the rice came in the shape of a heart. So that made me feel special. Right, right. It it's a, it's a little metal mold. No, I'm is. aware of how they do it. Oh, okay. I don't think it came from the ground that way. How would you know? I, I've never worked in a rice paddy, so I wouldn't. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it sounds like you are establishing an unimportant <coughs> opinion. Yeah. That's that's how I do most things. Yep. Yeah. Welcome to Talking Box. Welcome to Talking Box. <laughs> that's how we do most things. <laughs> yep. So uh, I'm write that down. <laughs> Unsubstantiated. I would support a Manny Petty. Yeah? I mean, not Next like week. financially. <laughs> <laughs> a Manny Petty. Would you, you want to get one? Ah. Uh, would you be willing to... I have like man mannish fingernails like i bite my nails and they're too. all jagged and ripped up there's not oh, a lot to talk work lot with they'll, they'll smooth it yeah. out they're <laughs> yeah. gonna be like oh he's sexually frustrated there's, <laughs> there's something seriously wrong with this fella <coughs> i but, mean yes have you, have you guys ever seen anybody bite their toenails you have all right yeah, me too to. and it's gross it's gross what i don't back it, it up it's good I, I mean, it's nice to get like those those nails that are just bugging you and you can't break them down, you know, with just your your Especially fingernail the alone. Nails. But but still, toe and mouth. It's toe and mouth. Like. Toe and mouth. It's foot and mouth disease, right? Foot and mouth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I, I normally it, like when it comes to toenails. Admittedly, I normally use my hand, use my nails mm. on my actual fingers to help. Do you own clippers? I do. I, and I, so you just or you're like, no, nope, here and now. I'm not going to get these Sometimes, clippers. Sometimes, depending on the nail, I will go and get the clippers. But the cl I also, like, I quit biting my nails probably like a year ago now. I just made the conscious effort to stop biting my nails. And I've successfully done it. The only problem is, is that I'm not accustomed to clipping my nails all the time. Mm -hmm. So I'll end up with really long nails, like, throughout That's the That's impressive week. that you were able to stop. Because I, I bite my nails a lot. Mostly when I'm driving, actually, is when I do it a lot. Now, I still um, definitely I put my, like, I still, like, gnaw on them a little bit but I don't actually break them and chew oh, them off okay. but I still definitely you know nibble. thanks for thanks for that demonstration yeah <laughs> <Thanks> for <nibble>. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't getting it yeah. now we get it Fine. so so news. Manny Petty's next week He's Manny Petty's next next week how much is that we're gonna have to look up how much that costs I, I honestly yeah. don't know how much Manny Petty spa costs. day <laughs> oh my god I feel like Better Call Saul is like, like the it. most Manny Petty experience that I have really? because his his uh, attorney's office is in a salon, a nail okay. salon. My nose feels great. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm touching it and it, it just feels amazingly smooth. Mm -hmm. Really, really open up the pores. Mm -hmm. But dang, that took off a lot of hair. <laughs> I think now I think after Manny Petty's like a mud bath. Why not? Yeah. Or a seaweed yeah. wrap. Seaweed oh, yeah. wrap. wrap would be cool. Or yeah. a spa day. Go to like an a Asian legit spa. spa day and just yeah. get it all done. I kind of want to do it like 
in layers like that. They're like one day, you know, one week you do a manic pedi, and then we do a super wrap, and then we do this other thing. And then we do some then, acupuncture or something. Oh, I'm gosh. gonna try it. I'd be willing to I'd give, it a, willing to give yeah. it a shot. Needles in the back? Why not? Or wherever. Or wherever. As long as it's no, <laughs> <laughs> not wherever. Sex out, huh? Sex out on on acupuncture. They're not, they're not. They're not legally Only the allowed to poison the needles. Yeah, this, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that they're not legally allowed. That that never stop people from murdering. Or go to chiropractic. I don't know. I've, I've, I've definitely. I have been deterred from several murders because of it being against the law. Really? Yeah. Oh. You know, like, feel, oh man. If, person, if only it wasn't against the law. If only you would be it murdered. weren't illegal the to purge. murder you. <laughs> I feel like a mom and pop uh, kind of salon might actually allow us to go in there and, and film. I'd be, I'd be worried that they'd get all weirded out. Like, yeah, we're putting on a show and we want to film this whole thing. Hey, well, yeah, we'll, we'll figure out a place and then and give them a call and see how they. How do they feel about doing it? Mm, I have no pro like I'm I'm literally straight up about doing this. Like I really want to do this. No, I think we should. Yeah. I don't know. My feet look horrible sometimes, so uh That's what the petty's for. Petties. <laughs> They're gonna look at me and they'll be like <sighs> Like you don't take care of yourself. You know what you need to do? You come and see me three times a week. <laughs> That's gonna, gonna be, be like, expensive. Oh, you, you should... want that crypto jail? <laughs> <laughs> you should start a talkie box Kickstarter that's just Manny Petty Kickstarter. <laughs> It's, it's, it's just, talk just support us going to get yeah, our for like a twenty dollar value. We'll give you a picture of our feet. Like, <laughs> like do, you, do you want us to be better looking when you're watching the show? Fund our spa days. Or yeah. if you're just curious about what happens at spas and what would happen to us at mm -hmm. a spa. <laughs> If How I would we wanted... ruin everyone's lives at that spa? Mm -hmm. How would I make everyone uncomfortable in mm -hmm. the entire spa? And then just in. watch. They're going to ask you guys to uh, do the eyebrows and everything. Oh. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you to pluck your eyebrows? I got over? some. So I was showing some people uh, last week. Some, I was showing people a picture of when I had shaved my head several years ago after I donated oh, my God. hair and I actually shaved my head all the way to the scalp. And I also shaved my face. And so I was completely, like, completely bald on my face, except for my eyebrows, which are enormous when there's nothing to compare them to. <laughs> so, yeah. Very, very dominating eyebrows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like the Eugene Levy of... To tell a story. Being me, I guess. Of, I don't know. <laughs> of Portuguese. People. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't, I don't know about doing my eyebrows. I Maybe know. I should, I don't know. So See, they I'll get the old man it. eyebrows yeah. every once in a while while I wake <laughs> up, and my eyebrows are up to here just because the hairs are so long. Yeah. So they, when I go to get my hair cut the last few times, they're like, can I cut your eyebrows? <laughs> Instead of, like, asking if I want it done, no, like, they're asking please? me because they want to. Like, can I, can I cut your eyebrows? Like, yeah, okay. All right, good. <laughs> we need to make sure that these this is a nice crisp line. Here. Yeah, like if I let you walk out of here with your hair looking like that, and your eyebrows looking like that, mm, mm -mm. I lose my credibility. I gotta I gotta trim those babies <laughs> I, back. I would get fired for you. I gotta trim those yeah. babies back. But what would you want? Cut, waxed, or plucked? They have other stuff too. Like there's there's the uh, the threading. threading? Oh. The threading. Yeah, that looks like it. I don't even understand them. how it works. They, I, it's, I, uh, don't they have yeah. like a electrolysis, like some kind of like a, a laser oh, pen yeah, yeah, yeah. or something? And they could just like, boop, 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 boop. Yeah, but definitely... doesn't that take away yeah, all it kill, of it? It kills yeah, the I follicle. Think it it I superheats think. the follicle. Yeah, I believe. It's, it's I supposed to that. kill that hair and it doesn't come back. Die. Or so. at least not for a while. Right. I remember seeing the, the infomercials for those things and it goes in, it's like, it, like it's still like one hair at a time. That's got to be yeah. awful. It's Where tedious. It's like, bzz, bloop. <laughs> <laughs> like okay, that's one. <laughs> bzz, bloop. But I guess on, like that for a long time. On a on a on a lady's face, you know, there's a good chance that she may only have like five or six hairy moles that she has to take care <laughs> of. Whereas with all on, of on us, on the average face, just five or five six. or six <laughs> hairy moles per lady. That's normal. <laughs> And oh, so, no, it's just like, oh. Yeah, it's just these giant caterpillar eyebrows right, that right. we all have. On. It's okay, I'm Asian, so uh, it's not that bad. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm American, so it's not that bad. Yeah. I kind of look like Gandalf a little bit, but 
I don't mind. Give he's, you a hat, staff. You're, exactly. you're good to go. Yeah. You're golden. He's respectable. He saved the hobbits. Uh huh. Yeah. He's, he he shall not him, pass. He could have right. flown them all the way to the mountain, but he's like. Yeah, I mean, he, I he had the giant eagles or whatever that he could have just been like, yo, <laughs> let's do this in a week, but. How yeah, but that a, would ruin the secret. How plan. do you make a movie out of all of that? You can't. It's like yeah. 15 minutes. It'd be a short. <laughs> yeah, and then it, or write a 3,000 page book. Can't do either one of those things for each with book the, with the plot line like yeah. that. Right, right. So you gotta you gotta stretch it out, mm -hmm. and just because like oh, just, later just because on, you put that part where you could totally win it in the beginning doesn't mean you have to win it in the beginning, I guess. Right. Then he has to die and then come back better, in yeah. a different color. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's kind of like great a, again off the racist. So yeah. <laughs> it's it's kind of like a um a scary <coughs> movie. You know when you watch scary movies like they are rife with bad decisions. Right. Like and and Don't go in there. Exactly. And I'm going to go yeah. in there. That's why are you going in there. Like you're already noited out. You're already freaking out like you may or may not have already seen one of your friends die. Yeah. And you're just making bad decision after bad decision. And it's always like, like oh, he died. That's terrible. We're not going to deal with this. Like, we're going to go back to our debauched ways. <laughs> right? Immediately. All right, let's not think about the flaws in our logic, and let's just attack this head-on one more time. All I right, see a knife. I'm there. going to I'm gonna hide in this tool shed full of chains and sharp objects. <laughs> I'm going to hide very close to the hooks. Yep. Everybody be quiet. In a dark room. You know, now, try not to jangle all of those chains hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> I don't want them to hear all me. All right, there's nine rooms in this house, so we better split up into yep. pairs <laughs> and, and go into different sections of the house right. so that definitely more people can get murdered very mm -hmm. easily. But there's always going to be that one person that goes by himself, and it's like, why? Yeah. Why? I'm not scared of this. You guys are stupid. When they could easily, as a giant group of six to eight people, just clear all nine rooms yeah, yeah. in a matter of minutes. But no, nah, that ruins the movie, doesn't it? Yeah. Not even that. Nine people, it's like, hey, you know what? Killer, come here. Come here. Let's go. Let's go. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's go have a chat, buddy. Oh, he's haunting this house? Like, I'm setting this bitch on fire. On fire. <laughs> right now. Like, I know oh, how to take care of a ghost in a yeah. house. No more fucking house. Yeah. You, 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 you. Go get marshmallows. I'm taking care of this haunted house problem. Yeah. Right now. That would be the easiest scary movie ever. Mm -hmm. oh, Two minutes long. Like, the doors shuts and the walls start to bleed. And you just like, jump out the window. And <laughs> poof. Goodbye. Now what are you Flint doing? Steel, you that was Flint and Steel. That was Flint and Steel. It's an old haunted house. I, I, you gotta go old school. I'm a traditionalist. I'm a traditionalist. You didn't notice that I, did. I used Flint yeah. and Steel. I was a Boy Scout. I know what's up. Right on. Because he's the guy that comes in out of nowhere with Flint and Steel inside his pocket. Yeah. And yeah. like, who could save the day? But that guy always dies like the first five seconds mm -hmm. that he shows up. Oh, the cops are here. Hey, did you guys report a black? <laughs> yeah. Did you guys report a dead cop? Because that's what just happened. And then, of course, they just leave the corpse there. And it's like, he has a gun. Take the gun, just kill the killer. But no. No. I'm just going to leave it there. Mm -hmm. So no. that it can be used against us later on. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's like, they see the bad guy. It's like, oh, hey, you know what? Here's a gun. Yeah. Take it. Yeah, this will make your job a lot easier. Mm. That would be uh, sad. Mountain Most sad. Dude. Being yeah. a writer. Yeah. Not a sponsor. Having to just fill you in do plot them. devices. It's crazy work. Yep, I don't know why you don't do it more often. So I, I sent some friends uh, a picture of my face, clean shaven, and my phone has been blowing up the entire episode so far. Right on. You should tell them to uh, uh, <coughs> watch that. one of our older episodes, uh, and you'll get back to them. Yep. Yep. <laughs> hey, guys, watch one of our older episodes. Dave will get back to you. I'll get back to you. In like two Good weeks. thing we're live streaming this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, they'll watch it eventually, and then they'll know that like, oh, a week ago, yeah, they he were, had hair. That's what he was talking about. They were talking about us. Yeah. Actually, two weeks ago, a week ago would have been a week ago. Well, know? they'll but they'll see this a week from now, yeah. and at that point, it'll be a week ago. Oh, okay. Makes sense. You know, <laughs> makes sense. I'm, I'm, I'm forward thinking. <laughs> I was like, wait, hold on, hold on. The show that I was on was like two weeks ago. Yes. Mm -hmm. So then that would have been two weeks ago, but then if you're future tensing it, three weeks ago. Right? Well, no time to base. Sure. Mm -hmm. That math is correct. 
Yeah. It's because I'm Asian. Also, because the episode we filmed a week ago. <laughs> I've, got a, I've got a pocket abacus. <laughs> Hold on. Let, me, let me just uh, show you real quick. Click, 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 click. Damn. I got to get me a Texas instrument. You know, I actually know how to use an abacus. Do you? That's badass. It I'm really impressed. is. Do you know how to play backgammon? The heck is that? It has right, nothing so no. to do with an abacus. <laughs> oh. No, but it's also one of those things I don't know how to do. Do you know how to drive a spaceship? <laughs> oh, you know what? <laughs> Do you have a CDL license? Because you're going to need one for spaceships. Yep, most Ooh. definitely. Yeah. Yeah. No, there's no got a license that. on that shit. Mm. No. You know, you can get any kind of license you want on, on the internet. This can you true. really? You can take your CDL courses and stuff like that? No, just print it off. Yeah. Oh, you just <laughs> put your name on it. You know, you can oh, well, I could just give you one in Crayola right now. <laughs> <laughs> any license Certified. Do you have Crayola you right now? You guys want to get married? Certified by Talkie Box. I bet there's Crayola somewhere around. We got the we got some dry erase markers. Yeah, there. Expo. I could do that. Not a sponsor. <coughs> Not a sponsor. Oh man, oh, man. Uh, crazy. I, you know who likes to talk about the weather? It's bullshit. Uh, but uh, how about it's getting weather? bad though? It's getting bad, right? I know yeah. it's it's uh, storm season, but apparently there's a Category Five cooking Hurricane. out there that, that's bordering on a Cat Six, apparently. Uh, Irma. Yep. Irma's her name. Yeah. Uh, That's in Florida, though, so... Uh, yeah, and they're yeah. already declared a state of emergency. Mm -hmm. Like, they have already, like, we are not going to be Houston. Like, we're going to have yeah. everybody aware. We're going to keep track of this sucker the whole time. Didn't I wonder Texas if they... get hit by something? Yeah, that was Hurricane uh, Harvey. Harvey just a couple weeks ago. Wow, so we had two hurricanes. Oh, yeah, Ooh. it's hurricane season, dude. It's happening. And apparently in Texas, out of all the people who got hit, only, like... A very small handful had uh, hurricane insurance oh, because it's not sucks. for most people over there. It's not offered because that area around Houston and stuff gets hit a lot in the Gulf, and I assume it's the same way in in Florida. Like insurance companies would just go out of business having to pay out that much because like hurricanes be coming. Mm -hmm. But that just sucks. Yeah. yeah, but that just leaves entire towns vacant. Because yeah. no one has the money to rebuild. Yeah, there was like so, over 200 million vehicles that were decommissioned because of Harvey. Yeah. So now a lot of these guys that came back don't have yeah, they don't vehicles. Have they don't have transportation. Yeah. Because it was all destroyed in the flooding. It's really and and, and that but that's one of the I guess that's the the way they justify it is that's one of the things you know going in. Like I'm moving to Florida, I'm probably gonna get hit by hurricanes mm -hmm. or floods. Yeah. But that's kind of messed up that those Texas towns, like, I feel like there's nothing that can really be done. So it's just going to be a mass exodus because all of these residences are pretty much, you can't be built back up. There's no money to build them back up. There's no vehicles. All these people lost their vehicles. There's all these job places got mm -hmm. shut down with the same kind of thing like yeah. a lot of employers aren't going to be able to open back up. So, so I feel there's like that explosion at the chemical plant. Was there? Was there? Yeah, there really? was an explosion at a chemical plant after Harvey and it, like poured noxious gas into the surrounding area. Damn. And because Oof. of the like some deregulation going on over there, that chemical plant does not have to disclose what they had cooking up in there wow. that was oh, that's dispersed. Bullshit. Yeah. So that's like Japan when the that uh chemical place like mm -hmm. went red alert, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, I know, what, about four, five, five or six years ago, Japan actually had a, a nuclear issue where one of their nuclear facilities uh, went hot. And actually, yeah. like, uh, I think there was a crack in the core and apparently, you know, radiation exposure just, like, occurred in minute amounts, but, yeah. like, in the water, in and, and they even had to... Poor fishies cut down a whole bunch of green tea because there's like a huge, huge, vast fields of green tea that's mm. sort of near this uh, nuclear plant and it all became irradiated. And so like they had to cut it all down huge yields. Damn. And, and I think some of it still got out. Probably. Like, you know, because like, what are, you, what are you gonna do if you're tied up in a million dollars of tea? Yeah. And like, oh. That radiation, it, like it, it burns off at over time, and and then all the processing that goes through it is gonna. It's not gonna be great for you. Yeah, I don't think that's how radiation but works. Do you not? 
Well, I don't think so. I don't think it like washes off. Not washes, but like it it, it dies off. It has yeah. a half life. Yeah. It has a half life, but depending on what the the radiation is coming from, what kind of yeah. how, nuclear how material? How strongly it was irradiated. Yeah, yeah. like like uh, there's specific types of plutonium that like have a half life of two hundred and like twenty four hundred years. Yeah. Okay. Twenty four hundred <laughs> years. That's yeah. Good. No, no, this is oh, figures this is back your ass. This is this is figures I pulled out of somebody else's ass. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Twenty four hundred year half life. That's the well, we're, we're just gonna buy into it. You should. Alright. You should listen to me. Watch some TV every once in a while. Gosh, educate yourself. Listen, I don't have a TV. Alright. All right. Really? So what you what you what, what you get all your information from books? So every time I call you racist and you say I'm not racist, I have a color TV, you've been lying to me. Look, look, look. I have a gaming TV. That happens to be color. So you, yes. so you lied to me just now when you say you don't have a TV. Well, I don't have a TV TV to watch news and stuff. It's still a television. <laughs> he has a TV he doesn't have it hooked up to cable or satellite. Yeah, so yeah I do don't either. Do, do, do you have a smartphone? Yes. yes then the you have a TV. Yes. You have a TV? What? Yeah. That's not a TV. I watch most of my TV on my phone. Now, where but do you... You're, you're privileged. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. He nailed it. He knows how to spot him. He can spot him. You can cheat and get TV. Listen, how much of the TV do you think I pay for? <laughs> you got this thing right here. You're you know dueling and stuff, and I'm I don't got nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm a sad. borrowed coffee cup. Me <laughs> borrowed too. coffee cup. Me too, brother. <laughs> Me too. Oh, he called you privilege. <laughs> I'm, I'm you went there. I had to. Yeah. But it was I was gonna say something, I don't remember what it was because something yeah. had a racial territory. Exactly, yeah. I had something lined up. Now <laughs> listen, listen, I'm the only black. Asian here yeah. against white people. That's absolutely you could just say whatever you want. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's a that's a thing. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a racial right. Yeah. And I'm okay with it. I'm comfortable with it. I'm a little jealous, honestly. <laughs> Don't wish I could be racist like a woman. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. If I were really an old black guy, nobody would say anything. Oh, dang. I they, think they would. Yeah. They'd probably say something. <laughs> they, they probably would. But, like, do you see that racist black guy right there? <laughs> God, he's terrible. He's terrible. Oh. Uh. Somebody arrest him for something. But those white people are seriously privileged. So. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. We were talking about Hurricane Harvey and how like these towns in Texas are essentially vacated. I have a feeling and an assumption that big corporations are going to come in and rebuild these towns. Oh, yeah. And, and then... To get that hype and be like, oh, yeah. man, these organizations are too amazing now. Look what X, you know, corporation did. I'm like I don't even want to give any ideas out to. Well, no, I mean you all these corporations did. that are watching, <laughs> and, and plus they're going to be able to get all of this land for pennies on the dollar. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like so. And then like, they can and then they can sell it off for more once it's you know cleared out and everything's. Mm -hmm. once then of go. course they're going to take down more trees, global warming. Yeah. yeah. Talkie box. They're, they're going to global warm. Is what they're going to yeah. global do. warm. <laughs> Talkie box. Three <laughs> viewpoints for your best conspiracy theories. That's right. Yeah. yeah, I like it. <laughs> Fair and unbalanced, or something. I don't know. <coughs> biased and biased and unbalanced. Sure. Yep. You know, we can even have a twofer. Hurricanes are the only murderers that we can't kill. Which... What, up, what up? What about uh, tornadoes? Meteors. meteors. Earthquakes. Yep. Yeah, but meteors like. Like, you, can't send, you can't send Bruce Willis to every meteor that comes down. Okay? <laughs> what about so. Ben Affleck? Can we send Ben Affleck to every meteor? Maybe. I don't want to close my eyes. <laughs> you don't want to fall asleep? <laughs> I'm going to miss you. <laughs> oh. Every time with this guy. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I've gotten really good at it. Yeah, it's like a wait. jukebox. <laughs> So uh, you, you said you don't cable, you don't satellite. Do you uh, do you Netflix? Do you crackle? How do you get your your movies? Hulu? Actually, I don't. Oh. You, you don't have any of those. Really? Like I I pay for a Netflix account, but like I work at day job too much. Yeah. And so you really don't get enough Netflix time. It's just seven dollars no. coming out There's of your no bank account. There's no chilling for me. <laughs> <laughs> or it's all chilling. Yeah. <laughs> right there with you, Tech. 
It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what's what's your favorite kind of game? Your game genre that you enjoy the most? Oh, I'm too much of a uh, a nerd, so uh, I no play such thing here. Everything. I play mostly like, everything. I play Overwatch, Final Fantasy, you name it. I probably played it. So shooter, role yep. play. Yep. What about racers? Do you yep. play racers? Because yep. um, you know I'm Asian. And we like to <laughs> you know drift and all that stuff. I, so. I might be Asian. <laughs> oh, there you go. You know, I might be. There's yeah, a, yeah, a little we Asian. We have a lot of you. common interests. <laughs> um, heart shaped rice stuff like I mean, oh dang, like, oh dang. Yeah. Speaking of racing, that Hydro Thunder yeah. just hit Xbox Live the other day and that took me back to like back. I used to play that in you know what I'm talking about Hydro Thunder Hydro Thunder is a boat racing game that's that just got put on Xbox Live for free but it was originally an arcade game way back and me and my friends played the shit out of that game it was awesome <coughs> now just they like played Metal it. Slug and all that stuff old ar arcade games Metal Slug. that sounds really familiar but what? I can't place it side scroller the one where like, he's like oh let's go like yeah. Contra no, like, um... Kind of over-the-top side-scroller, wasn't it? Yeah, over-the-top side-scroller, kind of in the vein of, um, like, there were, there was the Batman, like, Returns game for SNES, or, like, some of those X-Men games mm -hmm. where it's... Kind of like Gauntlet style, but just more open. Where like so. you're 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 going down, but it's not like that flat plane side-scroller, it's like you can move up and down. Oh, on like, the like side scroll. Battle Toads and Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Oh, Battle Toads. Yeah. Okay, if you played Metal Slug, you probably remember like the old guy that you have to save and he'll give you like secret weapons and stuff like that. No? Mm-mm. Man. Sorry, dude. Mm -mm. That sucks. That's like the like, best. The, part. the name sounds so familiar to me, but I, I can't place it. Like you legitimately like I'll save I'll look it up later. You save Write him and down. he gets like <laughs> Kamehameha type like type stuff you turn into like a like a saiyan no like, like saiyan? You, you know the old guy Is master roshi too? from dragon ball yes well he becomes that when you get him sometimes oh like he'll legitimately come out of nowhere and be like ah boom blow everybody up all right now i gotta play this metal slug game you metal do. slug all right yeah playstation nope I got an old school PlayStation, so I might be able to let you uh, borrow that. Okay, now, cool. Are you a commando or are you a tank? I'm trying to remember Metal Slug. You, you're a commando, but like you can go inside a tank. It has like two guns on the side. Okay. And, like, start shooting all over the place. I, I felt like there was some kind of like, like some kind of little thing that you could like pop into, and and it would give you the extra armor. And then if you kill certain dudes, you get gun power ups and mm -hmm. stuff as you go along. Sounds now, a lot like Contra to me. There's there's a video game that just got announced it's over the top instead of sideways. That I'm really curious to see how it's going to work. So, uh, Walking Dead, right? Very popular genre. We've heard of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, they are doing an augmented reality mobile game. Uh, Kind of like a la Pokemon Go. Really? What? Yeah. It's called Slay Your Neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> the Purge. I like it. All right. I like it. Write that down. We gotta make that up real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Someone quick copyright. We that. need somebody to be good at, at yeah. making games on iPhone. It just, it just turns everybody in your neighborhood into a zombie that is trying to kill you. And then you kill them. And then you defend yourself. Yeah. Oh, imagine though. You walk right next to somebody with the same game, and they you both see each other like, oh, you're a zombie? What? Whoa, hold up, hold up. You didn't fight you. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious to see how it works. There's not a lot of details going on right now, but it is like a Pokemon game. Geo mapping, uh, augmented do you, reality. Do you collect all different through. types of zombies? Yeah, you, you, you got to kill them all. I don't want to kill them all. I want to collect them. <laughs> yeah, but you got to kill them. And then you just take their head and put it into a tank like the governor. Governor. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. All right. Now, uh, speaking of zombies, uh, we did recently have a convention in the metro Atlanta. Yep. yep. Zombie outbreak happened. What? Yeah. yeah. Zombie outbreak. It was. It was. It was due. It was, <laughs> it was due. About time. I also hear CDC, there was a yeah. stormtrooper outbreak yeah. as well, like a real bad stormtrooper outbreak. Uh, also, I think some Overwatch outbreak as well. There's yeah. a decent number of Overwatch. Of course. Um, pokey hunters, mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. kinds, all kinds. Also, black gay pride. Yep. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> yep. So that's that's an interesting mix. I like 
whoever does the planning. Mm -hmm. So they're like, all right, we've got a whole bunch of cosplay nerds, like 100K. Yeah. We want another event to coincide with it, but it has to be chill. It has to be like a group that's going to be cool with another group sort right. of thing. Like, you don't want to put your Black Panthers and your KKK <laughs> on the same street. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, of course, man. Of course. So you got to you gotta like get some, some groups that are cool. And I feel like Black Gay Pride and Dragon Con are sort of hand in hand. Kind of. You know, like they, there's, I imagine there were probably many that attended both events. Absolutely. So speaking yeah. of outbreaks, what would actually happen if we had a zombie apocalypse? What would you actually do? I would kill every one of you. Yep. Wow. Just to go ahead and knock it out of that, because uh, I don't want to have to watch <laughs> We're gonna it. We're going to get there. It's I don't want to have to watch it turn, so I'll just go ahead and befriend you. So who you would you kill first? Jason. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> we all knew that one was coming. Yeah. 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 I'd probably be next, or at least you'd try. I mean, if you don't kill Jason first, he's going to talk to you. Mm -hmm. And he's going to try to convince you of things. Oh, yeah. And he's going to be real convincing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make it sound like they're good ideas. Yeah, they are not good ideas. But I don't want you to get They're good them. ideas for him. <laughs> yeah, they're great ideas for Jason. Because yep. he can get in close and kill you. Yeah. The owner All right, so what you do is you cut off your foot. <laughs> and we boil that bitch off. And then I got your back from there on. Yeah, and then you just ride, you know, me piggyback and machete monsters mm -hmm. as they come. Like, all, all right, well, giant... now that we've cut your foot off and eaten, I'm going to go. <laughs> Deuces. You know. I'm, I'm probably actually going to But eventually you're going to get to a point where you're like, really wish I had a backpack machete guy. <laughs> <laughs> or at least what another else foot else? to eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And once again, I'm putting a severed foot on my noodles. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a theme. There's a recurring eating feet theme. Uh, it's okay. I'll try to be a ninja and uh, escape this place. Yeah. Without you guys knowing. Not because I'm Asian, but because I'm Asian. I'm hit you with this coffee mug. <laughs> Take you down. You can't reach me from there. <laughs> I'm hit you with Jason just, as a shield. I'm gonna hit you with Jason's severed head. Um, but, yeah, but, my intent would be just to you know. Basically, go to the nearest store, uh, stock up as much as I could, try to just stay away, you know, from everybody for, you know, the first month or so yeah. until the zombie really kind of, the horde figured itself out, you know? Mm -hmm. Once all the, all the people on the street fleeing in panic got selected at random to be zombies, <laughs> then, then at that point it would be a good story stepping stone right. go outside see who's left form coalitions yeah. fight back the horde retake the world yeah i think i'd uh you want you want to find out about it early oh yeah like, you need to, you want to be one of the first people like shit zombies okay yeah. because once Walmart. once like if you're one of the last people like you slept in that day you're stuck on the interstate yeah and and you ain't like you go to that store that's not gonna be anything for you so i'm mostly just, gonna, be just gonna be the organic section that nobody wants I'm going to be screwed because I'd have uh, no social media and no TV, uh, well, news. Yeah. Rephrased. Well, I'm kind of hoping it happens news. late at night, but like not so late that I'm sleeping, but just like late at night that it's like, ah, oh, emergency broadcast. You're the only one awake, so we're telling you. <laughs> and then like, I run away find under out, cover of darkness. and I'm like, all right, sweet. I've got about an eight-hour head start on the whole rest of the world yeah. waking up and freaking out. I'm going to go ahead and freak out now, get it out of the way, <laughs> and that way I'll be calm and collected yeah. come eight hours from now. Get up to the store, out. go ahead and grab some stuff. Do you pay for it? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, yeah, like, I pay for it. What good is a dollar? I'm going to Spartan kick somebody. Be like, bah, get out of here. Yeah. I'll be, what, I'll be what making good is a dollar. Rain. I'll tell you what good is a dollar, because you have some people who are going to like who are going to be in that mindset of, like, I want the money, and you want to have some money to give them when they've got that foot that you need to eat. Yeah, I mean they can. So here's six hundred bucks. See, here's let me eat your foot. Here's something <laughs> I feel like you don't see enough of in zombie movies. Uh -huh. Every single zombie is a walking mystery box, <laughs> right? Like they're killing hordes and hordes. You see it in The Walking Dead. You see yeah. it on Planet Z. You see it in all the zombie stuff, but you never see like I'm gonna go ahead and rifle through every single zombie kill. Oh, yeah, you know? they have all kinds of good stuff. There's all kinds of good stuff. Maybe like a half-eaten pack of M&M's, uh -huh. 
Mm. Or, or a handkerchief with only like a couple of bugs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like would you really want stuff. to eat the M&M's though? Yes. It was I open. You were good at the it was open. If I didn't get the zombie <laughs> plague from a zombie, like if M&M's are what do me in, I deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> Worth. Yeah. Ain't it the truth? Yeah. Best way to I'm kill you right there. Uh, M&M's, here you go. I'm going to yeah, give you they, one you know, M&M. Maybe they got a pocket knife. Maybe they got a pocket full of bullets. You don't know. Mm. Pocket full of sunshine. Pocket, pocket, pocket mm. full of sunshine. I mean, just some good denim material or, or oh, yeah. belt or mm. all kinds of things. Maybe they got the same size shoes you. Right. Yeah. Right? So every single zombie. It's, it's all about leveling up. Is it? Yes. No. It's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a mystery box. Well, if that's the case, then uh, <clears throat> let's yeah. do that charcoal mask always... again. <laughs> Get and my 10 always, by 10. always, always pick up the duct tape. You always yeah. can use the duct tape and the Wonder True. Glue. You always need the adhesives. True. Yeah. Well, yeah. now that we gave away our secrets on surviving the apocalypse, I'd go. To I mean, Walmart let's first. Let's face it. Yeah, you you just go to Walmart. You quietly and silently kill everybody else in the store and mm -hmm. lock it up, and then that's uh, a find huge the, store, though. Yeah, of course. That's why you have to do it quietly. Yeah. It'd be really tough to maintain a perimeter like that by yourself. It would be. You'd have to get a crew to go with you. Yeah, if you want to take over a Walmart, you got to be. Well, a the thing about Walmart is they thugs. have they have the the metal the metal gates that go over the doors, and, and that would hold it down for a little while. Yeah. Then you just Trendles? go and you get you go and you get the uh, the the tables, like the the foldable tables, and then you just start bolstering the doors with that. First of all, I'm coming through the skylights. You're not keeping me out. Coming through the skylights, damn! You're gonna fall to your death, bruh. No, nah, man. You think I I got up there? You don't think I'm prepared to come down? Well, you brought a I, rope. I honestly <laughs> don't think you're prepared to come down. I'm prepared to come no. down, or at least snipe you guys from that up of position. <laughs> okay, think yeah, about it, true. guys. Okay. They have they have guns, right? You can yeah. easily shoot like the live people, but they also have treadmills. You put the treadmills at the door, backwards, so zombies try and come in. Oh, they're just walking backwards and. They're falling over, dying, and stuff like that, and you're good to go. You've but seen then how much, how much generator power are you going to go through to get there? You only have to last like a good month, and everybody's mostly dead. You got the food. You well, got the guns. I think priority one, once you take over the Walmart, is to immediately Killing. start uh, cooking off the produce and uh, eating as much of the frozen food as you can. Yeah, trying to jerk and salt as much of the meat and stuff. But they also have like get everything as preserved. There. Yeah, but that'll only last for a little while, unless they have like solar powered backups powering the generator, which would be awesome. And it's not only survival <laughs> stuff for you, but all of that amount of goods in a single group's control, like that's that's commodities yeah. for trade to other groups. Yeah. You know, once your pharmacy's tap dry, like. They may be starving, but they got plenty of morphine on drip. I mean, in a place like that, honestly, the Walmart would just become, it would become a, a settlement on its own. It would just become a, a local town by the time it was all said and done. Mm -hmm. yeah. The whole place would be a town. You got people shacked up in the little, little barber area. Mm -hmm. in, the, in the tax place. In the eyeglasses. Yeah. I mean, you'd have everything that you would need. I'd be uh, the one in the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, because of course I'm a nerd. <laughs> Right. Yeah, just gotta. because it's the apocalypse doesn't mean I'm not going to take a little me time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you have a dark magician? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think so. I'm going to play a dark magician. <laughs> what are you going to do about that? I'm going to open the doors. <laughs> <laughs> now what are you going to do about Fuck that? This. <laughs> it's like trying to play Monopoly during the zombie apocalypse. Everybody's going to die. Yeah. Right? Yeah. right? I'm going to put a hotel on Park Place. Everybody's going to die. <laughs> Everybody's I gonna will die. kill us all. <laughs> what are you doing? Son of a bitch. Put that hotel Everybody's down, gonna and I'm going to ring this bell for the next 15 minutes. <laughs> you got to have that one guy that's like, gets the, go to jail, and that whole corner, and you're like, you do something. You better sleep with your eyes open. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You better see those zombies coming to eat you. You'll be tied down. So you gotta have a good bond with the people that you are surviving. Which is why you're with. all gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> gonna die. There's gotta be a certain level of trust. But um, listen, you always have to have an Asian man on your crew. Yep. Because they just say you have to have an Asian man on your crew? <laughs> listen, we know how to cook. We know how to fish. Come on now. You can't fish in a Walmart. Dead silence. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> you're right. You're right. 
And I feel like a lot squashed. of the <laughs> a lot of squash. A lot of people have mastered the art of cooking and fishing. Like, I mean, we're gonna keep you in the crew just because you know um, we can do things. Probably because of those gains, bro. Yeah, we're yeah. gonna we're gonna need somebody to like, like lift up that garage door that's stuck and yeah, shit like we're that. We're definitely you know? not going to eat you. <laughs> no. We're definitely like, not going <laughs> to cut your leg off. No. That just, one foot, <laughs> just one foot. You could piggyback me the whole rest of the time. <laughs> With a machete, you know. We're, yeah. good, we're good to go. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as Dave turns on us, I'm expecting you to just lop him. Because he's going to turn. He's going to yeah, turn. Yeah, you guys are going to go to a place and it's going to be like Filipino language and you be like, oh, dang it, why did we kill Tech? <laughs> shit. I can't wait for him to be on your back, too, because that's just one shot straight through. It's going to be great. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But wouldn't you want people <laughs> on my back? Because I can lift people? I mean, not, not without that foot. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> as long as you got both your feet, absolutely. <laughs> so just take that foot. But down. I think it's already been established you probably won't keep both of your feet. No. No. Well, hence, maybe, but... hence the severed foot on my dude. <laughs> yeah. but legitimately... Tech probably won't kill me right off the bat. I say we team up and we just eat Dave's feet. Oh, you don't know me, though. All right, well, now I'm eating everybody's feet. <laughs> There's no alliances anymore. Uh, it's every man for himself. Every foot for me. Every I'd probably be that guy me. that's, like, right behind you while you're talking. Bah! Oh, karate chop. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> what did he do? Uh, he threw a shoe at me. Why did he not get his feet? <laughs> What's your problem? Oh god! Has to be a shoe, mm -hmm. like a, a sandal or anything really. <laughs> Chocolates. I'm not Mexican. Yeah. Chocolates. <laughs> Just because oh, I look Mexican and you know people think I'm Mexican doesn't mean I'm Mexican. It's kind of that whole walks like a duck, quacks like a duck thing. Yeah. I find it amazing that we get uh, someone of Asian descent on the show and then all of a sudden it's like our racism license was renewed. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and the good thing is, I don't give two shits. <laughs> so <Yay>. it's okay. <laughs> so you're saying this is good until 2019. Oh. All right, great, I'm gonna mark my calendar. Yep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> racism license. So I've been watching a, a new Netflix show. I know you don't uh, do that, but uh, Tell me more. It's called Dear White People. Oh. Like legitimately? Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. I've heard about like, this. I haven't seen it, but I know what you're talking about. And it's like, it's basically about this upper class Ivy League school and a lot of racial issues that mm -hmm. occur where they basically try and like sweep everything under the rug to right. make their esteemed school so look. privileged. Exactly. And <laughs> and then they're <laughs> And then once all these issues start to occur, like they basically, the school just wants it all under control and yeah. quieted down. And like the black community is like, no, like this needs to be brought to the light. This needs to be shown right. for what it is. And I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying the show so far. Yeah, I need to check it out. I've seen, I, I remember seeing previews for it almost a year ago now when they first started wow. talking about it. Um, but yeah, it looked good. And, and it's mostly about, I think it's like a girl on a radio show or something like that, is that? Well, it's the way that it's laid out is it's about this one period of time mm -hmm. in this school's, you know, drama uh -huh. or whatever. And so it starts off, the first episode is about the young lady who sort of incited the whole thing and okay. like brought it to the forefront uh, of the attention. The next episode is about like, uh, this journalist who was basically following the story from a newspaper stance okay. and then the third chapter is about uh, the the election of the student body president and how there's only one black guy and like he's pretty much a shooting <coughs> because everybody's white guilt is is leaning towards okay. uh, his election and yeah. so it's 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 basically just a lot of different perspectives and like how does this person's story intertwine with the overarching racial tension and how does this person's story intertwine okay. kind of like crash right i don't know if y'all saw crash but I've heard of it. it's like a bunch of different stories that eventually just culminate in a single event right sort of thing so those are fun 
So yeah, it's it's worth Sounds watching. Intriguing. I believe it was a movie first. I believe it was written as a movie and then created as a Netflix original Maybe show. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it was the movie I had heard of a year or so ago and then now they've got a show about it. Yeah. That's something I'll probably check out eventually. Maybe. You know you know how I am with my show. <laughs> it's like, yeah. yeah, here's this thing. And then I'm like, yeah, a year later, I'm like, I watched that thing. <laughs> now, I watched Sopranos. Something. You guys heard of it? <laughs> I watched something again on Netflix recently that I really enjoyed the first time I watched. And, and I think you and I watched it together, but I don't know if we ever mentioned it on the show. Um, uh, uh, oh, Hello. Oh, yeah, with Mulaney and With Col- John Mulaney and... Uh, Colaney. Uh, uh, yeah, Col- Colaney. Yeah. Uh, yep. That's what I coined them, Crolaney. Yep. You know who they're talking about? Your face? No. Oh, I thought you meant the the ringing of a phone. No, I, I like, didn't know whose phone that was. John Mulaney <laughs> and oh, Nick Kroll. <laughs> John Mulaney and Nick Kroll. Listen, I can't control the notification sounds in this. Yeah, thing. you should I just try. push forward. <laughs> <laughs> So John Mulaney and Nick Kroll John Mulaney and are Nick in a Broadway Kroll, show. Broadway show. Tell us more. Called Oh Hello. Right. And they basically Hi. they <laughs> How are you today? <laughs> I'm doing great. <laughs> but um John Mulaney and Nick Kroll, they they actually did the um one of the movie award shows. The Spirit Awards. The Spirit Awards yeah. uh together last year. And they were a huge success. Like right. people love them, they were a great pair. And very they start funny. very funny, uh, and they they do this Broadway show called Oh Hello about these two old guys, that one of them's like a writer and one of them is an actor, and they're just the most ridiculous over the top characters yeah. playing characters in a play. So it's like a show within a show within a show, mm-hmm. wow. and it's 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 absurd, but it's really really funny. Like the way that they play off of each other is really really enjoyable. Um, especially some of the moments you, you can see through where it's, it's them like almost like trying to make each other laugh and uh, just trying to fuck with each other on stage and yeah. it's very entertaining if you haven't had a chance to check it out. Yeah, they, they use a lot of like physical and descriptive comedy about, the, about shows themselves like yeah. sort of like kind of almost props with the stage and how the stage is set up like they kind of like reveal certain things and then they bring it back in later on. There was one very young comedian who I've seen on Netflix and he did sort of a black box production with voiceovers where he's actually talking to himself. Was it Bo Burnham? Bo Burnham. Yeah. Yes. Very, very bright young comedian. He's, He's amazing. I think he retired. I believe so. The last thing I saw from him was kind of dark. Yeah. Like the first one was like, fun and light and like really out of the box mm. but in the box but then a little self-deprecation yeah. and things like that a, a few years went by <laughs> he did another one and i was like wow he's he's working through some issues yes yeah. but he's, he's young too he's like mid-20s and he's, he's already retired he, he's younger than i am because he he like he's incredibly successful he he's done stuff on youtube for years and but like jason said like it gets really and it's hard to tell what's the show and how much is like real yeah because most all comedy is based on some degree of Of truth yeah yeah and so and then i i I don't know how you know how true it is but i heard that he maybe not retired but he's definitely like not doing anything right now like he's just taking a step back he's doing he's just chilling out he's doing him but the but the way that'd be so cool to make so much money to you like you know what I'm just gonna do me for a little while, you know. Yeah. yeah. Like just if I feel like in a few years from now I can run a college circuit, make a hundred grand, and retire again. Yeah. But uh, I, the the way that he puts on his show mm-hmm. with that, the sort of like creating scenarios and then answering yeah. his own scenarios, like they sort of do something similar to that, where they, in Oh Hello, they they sort of they talk about like the one-sided phone call and they present different the one-sided sta- phone call <laughs> yeah they, they present different stage techniques and stuff and acting techniques to show you later on that they're going to be using them in their production mm-hmm. uh, and so it's basically just they they're like let, allow us to present you what the one-sided phone call is and so they're like bring 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 oh hello <laughs> oh no you don't say 
Dave shot his father in the face with a 22 handgun? <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Is it the zombie apocalypse? I should tell Justin immediately. Well, I'll consider it. <laughs> All right, well, it was great to hear from you, too. <laughs> Have a great day. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> and so you present all of this information yeah. as though it were a phone call, right. but really it's just like a real easy hack way yeah. to write in plot line information. And because who actually talks like that? Like, like just saying the things that have apparently just been said to them. Right. Hello? <laughs> the police? <laughs> That's who you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's 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 worth a watch. I really. I've, I've seen the fir about the first half of Oh Hello. I think I, I I happened to throw it on. I didn't know exactly what it was when I when I was going to bed one night, and I, and I ended up falling asleep like I do when I'm in bed, and and well, so, I hope so. that's yeah. a good practice to get into. Yeah, definitely. And uh, so I caught the first half of it, and I, for whatever reason, I did not go back and finish it. I will, but uh, yeah, I haven't yet. No, it's good stuff. It's, yeah. it's well written. I mean, it's written to be written poorly well. Right. Like it's sort of like we we wrote a hack play so that we could add all of these real comedic elements mm -hmm. to the fact that this is a hack play. Yeah. Uh, so I guess satirical. I guess satirical in nature. It seems like yeah. No, I'm intrigued. The, the way you described that reminded me of something I saw the other day online where it was like, um, it was kind of a, a graph and it was like smart, like a show about smart people for smart people. And it was like Rick and Morty. And a show about dumb people for smart people was Always Sunny in Philadelphia. And then it had like a smart a show. show for dumb people, Big Bang Theory. Yeah, and then and then dumb show for dumb people with friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Friends was a good. It was an enjoyable was, show. Even though I was, do but. feel like it's sort of biased because you a dumb person can watch and enjoy Rick and Morty. Yeah. They can. There are a lot of nuances oh, to the yeah. show that they won't pick up. But it'll still be a drunken scientist ripping ass on his nephew or whatever the whole time. It, 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 it has it, it has you know intrinsic entertainment value exactly. no matter what. But if you watch it with that critical eye, you're like, oh, themes. Mm -hmm. there, and there was even a part in in one episode. I think I think it was like near the end of the second season, maybe the beginning of the first. But it was it was where no, it was the beginning of the second season where Rick says like, oh yeah, this is like a blah 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 situation, and the kids laugh. And he's like, "Oh, you like that? I made that up." Yeah, and it's like it's a it's he's a, a red I green like, grumble of, of yeah. pretending to know what's going on. And oh, you like direct, that? It's a direct jab at like the people who watch the show and then laugh at these these things that he's saying who have no idea what he's talking about. Yeah. But, so I should actually watch the show. Absolutely. You should. You absolutely should. If you haven't seen Rick and Morty, definitely check out Rick and Morty. What are mom and dad doing? I don't know. Probably some you know grounded storyline about their marriage. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's. A very adult themed show. Yeah. Uh, I would go so far as to say even less family friendly than Family Guy. Absolutely. Uh, wow. For sure. Yeah. For sure. That's yeah. a pretty intense. It, uh, it's a bit more graphic. It doesn't it's push the envelope, it shoves the envelope. Yeah. It really? shoves it right down a, a flight of stairs. <laughs> and, it, and it cares not about political correctness. You know, it'll be like, oh, Christians, yeah, we appreciate you. Oh, Muslims, yeah, we appreciate you. And then the drunk scientist will be like, they're both fucking stupid. Yeah. <laughs> like, nobody really knows that it, this is what the space god looks like. And then he'll fly his spaceship into another dimension. And yeah, and there's all this crazy stuff that happens. It's, it's, it's a fantastic show, and I recommend it to anybody. We've talked about it on the show, like, multiple times. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's that good. It's they should good. sponsor us. They should. <laughs> they have the money for it, right? I mean, they, right? the, the the third right. season is out, and I have not seen a single fuck. <laughs> oh, wow. So I'm pretty sure the camera's still going. <laughs> yeah. Is it? Hey, guys. It, it's got a blackout. I don't Power know. just flashed here. Yeah. And so. Oh, it's a storm. It's a storming. Hear. You might not be able to hear what's going on. Should have been there yeah. on a Tuesday storm. I but... honestly don't even know if the audio has. Is, it's no, gonna still be there uh, when, no, when I this think, comes no. back up. I think we're probably gonna lose all of this. Yeah, we'll have to rely on the uh, the phone stuff. The good news is, is we literally had like yeah, a minute and fifteen show. seconds left in the show, so yeah. the only thing we really had left was but what did we learned. Save the audio. I don't know. I honestly don't know. 
I'll find out when I boot the computer back up. Because my guess is is that the last 55 minutes of us talking just went off and uh it was it was 59 we were literally i was about to end the show yeah, was was um so today so i learned we... that the power sucks <laughs> when, <laughs> when it starts storming yeah. today i learned that uh we need to get one of those giant backup uh surge protectors that will literally keep the computer on for an extra five minutes yeah i guess we should do that that sounds expensive yeah they're like 150 i was about to say walmart yeah Let's go. Take it over. All right. I guess that's... Uh, uh, you want to tell us what you learned? Make it kind of loud so the camera can hear you? Hey! What's up? Ah. Uh, this is useless. <laughs> but it makes you feel... I feel so shitty. I feel, <laughs> I feel like... Like we got to do it again. But you can't uh, redo... Jason knows thing. that better anyway. He refuses to redo anything. Yeah, no, it's gonna be a whole. All different right, did anybody episode. write write down the script? I mean, I have doodles. But <laughs> that's only gonna go right, so far. So I'm gonna check the computer. I'm gonna assume this is it for this episode. Yep. Have a great night. Yeah. Good night, good night everybody. Good one. Yay.